My one piece of advice, particularly to young guys, is don't get married and have kids really early. Because it takes a long time for a man to figure out who the fuck he is. I had no idea really until I was in my late 20s. And if I'd gotten involved in a very serious, deeply committed relationship that resulted in children earlier on in my life, I would have fucked my life up. And I, probably, and I would have had a whole bunch of mess. And of course, people do this all the time and they make the best of it. You know, okay, so it happens and they're like, well, I still love my kids and I've, you know, okay, so that was, that happened. But if you guys want to, um, you know, live extraordinary lives where you get to truly explore your own personal masculinity before you, you know, settle on anything, then take a lot of time for yourself. And don't listen to the pressures of your parents or your grandmother or of, uh, you know, the woman that you're with or whatever else it is. Allow yourself to grow and to change and experience relationships. Because becoming good at relationships is something you have to practice just as you need to practice approaching girls. It took me five long-term relationships to have one where I'm like, yeah, this is really good. And, we're, and we're not gonna, it's not going to cause massive trauma and damage afterwards. It's a really good experience. But allow yourself, because you have this luxury in this time where you don't have to just settle down, get married, and, and fit into that box of what you're supposed to do. You can choose not to. And, and lots of people around you, not the feminists, but the status quo, the old school thinking, will often try to pressure you into those boxes, but don't let it. Allow yourself that time to experience truly what you are as a man. And then, in relationship to, to women, and create a situation where equal rights is something that is negotiated between partners. And then the ideas of submission and dominance are things you get to play out in the bedroom. They're, they're not things that the state dictates to you. Yeah, it's true, women do like to be dominated in the bedroom, often. A very intelligent and powerful woman once said to me, yes, of course, every woman wants to be possessed by one man, if he deserves it. Yeah? That if you are a man who is strong, not tough, who is powerful, but not domineering, then, of course, a woman wants to be with you and she wants to submit herself to you. She wants to devote herself to you. Because the old school thinking is scared of, of that, because it, the men know that they don't really have that power. They need it dictated to women. They need to suppress them and use violence and, and uh, ideology to hold them down. A real man holds a woman down with his own presence. She wants to be held down by him. She wants to be possessed by him. She's not forced to be. And then you can have a functional and amazing relationship. a certain way because it's perceived hatred, bitterness, recrimination my one piece of advice particularly to young guys where, the, where you're bleeding time and energy because it's cool and just do it and the guys are like man I'm a girl successful and you're powerful and you're, you know, you're at a point of that being in a monogamous or a, or a long-term relationship will destroy your masculinity or your, your path in life. But the timing of it can, definitely. Okay, awesome. James, great speech. Badass. <laughs>